Brothers and sisters, God is giving away the spiritual secrets of the universe. But are we listening? In daily discipleship, we are rightly instructed to lift up the hands which hang down. Why not also strive to lift up the sometimes passive and provincial minds which also hang down, unnoticing of the stunning scope of it all? As a special witness, I will speak about the witnessing universe. For the scriptures are laid before thee, yea, and all things denote there is a God, yea, even the earth, and all things that are upon the face of it, yea, and its motion, yea, and also all the planets which move in their regular form do witness there is a supreme creator. Greater appreciation for the greater universe will also help us to live more righteously in our own tiny universes of daily life. Likewise, a better understanding of God's governance of the vast galaxies can lead to our better self-governance. Now for a mixture of scriptures, illustrations, and scientific commentary. Consider first this photo of our beautiful Earth as viewed with our moon in the foreground. Reflect upon how long it took man to reach the moon, and yet it is located in our own backyard. The resources necessary to sustain human life, so generously provided on this particular planet, unless mismanaged, we are told of them there is enough and to spare. Stephen Hawking provided for us some sobering perspective. Quote, Our Earth is a medium-sized planet orbiting around an average star in the outer suburbs of an ordinary spiral galaxy which is itself only one of about a million, million galaxies in the observable universe." End of quote. One scientist who does not believe in divine design nevertheless noted how things, quote, have worked together for our benefit. It almost seems as if the universe must in some sense have known that we were coming. Behold, all things are created and made to bear record of God. Things which are in the heavens above and things which are on the earth, all things bear record of me. Very significantly, we here on this earth are not alone in the universe. That by Christ and through him and of him, the worlds are and were created, and the inhabitants thereof are begotten sons and daughters unto God. Now cast your eyes on this view of what is called deep space. Almost every dot you see in this frame, courtesy of the Hubble telescope, is a galaxy. I am told that each galaxy represented herein has on the order of a hundred billion stars. Just this little wedge of the universe has almost innumerable worlds. Happily for us, brothers and sisters, the vastness of the Lord's creations is matched by the personalness of his purposes. For thus say the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it. He created it, not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. And worlds without number have I created. And I also created them for mine own purpose. For behold, there are many worlds, 
that have passed away by the word of my power. And there are many that now stand, and innumerable are they unto man. But all things are numbered unto me, for they are mine, and I know them. For behold, this is my work and my glory, to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. Therefore, in the expansiveness of space, there is stunning personalness, for God knows and loves each of us. His work includes our immortalization, accomplished by Christ's glorious atonement. Think of it, brothers and sisters. Even with their extensive longevity, stars are not immortal but you are. King Benjamin counseled us with these simple but profound words. Quote, Believe in God. Believe that He is and that He created all things, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that He has all wisdom and all power, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that man doth not comprehend all things which the Lord can comprehend. End of quote. So, brothers and sisters, the Lord is mindful of each of his vast creations. Look once more at the many dots in just one portion of our ordinary sized Milky Way galaxy. He knows them all. Think of it, therefore, just as the Lord knows each of these creations, so also He knows and loves each of those seen in this or any other crowd. Indeed, He knows each and all of mankind.